I figured out why people are so scared to fucking believe in the flat earth. <laughs> I'm born anew in your genius. It's not that they don't believe that the earth is stationary. They can obviously go outside and fucking see that the earth is stationary. <laughs> and I was never the same. Nor indeed was the world. <laughs> nor history nor anything that the human eye has ever captured. <laughs> the stars, the constellations, the Big Dipper, Orion's belt, we've seen that for thousands of years. Am I right, Scoob? Oh. But if the world's spinning a thousand miles an hour while shooting through space, there's no fucking way we're gonna see the same stars even two nights after each other. But we've seen it for thousands of years, okay? That's one. It was brilliant. No, 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 no. There is no word to describe its perfection. So I'm forced to make one up. And I'm going to do so right now. Scrum trilescent. <laughs> oh my, that's a good word. <laughs> yes, it is. The North Pole, I mean, the North Star, Polaris, does not move. The other stars move around it like a carousel, okay? That's just, whatever, I don't even care. But the reason why they don't want to believe it, one, they never even do research. If a hungry cannibal cracked your head open, there wouldn't be enough inside to cover a small water biscuit. <laughs> All these comments I'm reading, they're like, oh, it's, it hasn't been proven, it hasn't been proven. That just lets me know you're ignorant and you literally did zero research. You're just going around, ooh, let me see how many flat earthers I could p piss off today. Do some fucking research. Stand easy. Action on this is imperative. Take that down, darling. Yes. <laughs> also, make a note of the word gobbledygook. I like it. I want to use it more often in conversation. <laughs> yes. I was a Glover too. I never believed in flat earth either. I tried to debunk it, and once I realized I couldn't debunk it, I knew what was up. JJ, now tell us what you've got here. It all smells so good. Well, I took some perp plus, saw it with some uh, Cetaphids, trained it through this adult diaper, and it comes out as a page. <laughs> When's it gonna be ready? Probably 48 hours. Oh, wait, okay. Use your eyes and your common sense. Stop being indoctrinated. I can't talk right now because the shadow people are right behind the couch and they're trying to find my address. <laughs> the reason why they don't want to believe it is not because they don't want to believe that they live on a stationary plane. You are a blinding, brilliant light from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> the reason is they don't want to believe. They cannot fathom that people that they have trusted their entire lives and their family has trusted for generations can be lying to them. They don't want to believe that people can lie to them. Oh, man. I'm crying so hard. I say, I say, look at how hard I cry. <laughs> you don't want to believe that teachers and scientists and NASA fucking lie to you. That's what it is. That's what it is. Believing in Flat Earth is part of a spiritual awakening, okay? It is like looking into the face of God and seeing him smiling back, saying, you are my most wondrous creation. <laughs> and like 97% of the world is not going to spiritually awaken this time around. It also says that in the book. So I'm not debating you 97% that literally had to repeat third density. I feel sorry for you, I really do. So scrum-trilescent, I can barely move.